I mean, uh, honestly, I probably wouldn't have said nothing about Notre Dame if they wouldn't have been talking on Twitter. I mean, I wouldn't have said nothing about them. I mean, I just feel like, you know, they're talking. That's a sign of disrespect to me, and I don't like to be disrespected. So, you know, I felt like I had to say what I had to say and, and went out there and did what I had to do. You know, uh, we just know Georgia Tech's a good team. You know, everybody's coming in with the mindset that we have to prepare hard. You know, we have to have a good week of practice to go out there and pull this victory off. You know, uh, because they pose, like I said, you know, they do a lot of things that we don't normally work on. You know, they're going to cut our guys. You know, they're going to stop and go our guys and things like that. So, you know, I mean, but I definitely have respect for those guys. You know, I have respect for those guys, those players on the guys team. I mean, they're a great team and they have a great coach. We just have to go out there and do what we have to do to pull out the W. I asked Deshaun this question earlier. Now I'm going to ask you, how would you evaluate Dabo's game? Oh man, is <laughs> he's getting it together? It's, it's, it's better than it's better than it was last year. Uh, I don't know, man. He, is, he he trying, like, is he like kind of taking him under his wing and like told my coach, man, you need to you need to do a little more like this? Like are there guys that do that? <laughs> Uh, you got guys like G Hop who try who try to mentor him, you know, and try to get him right, show him show him how it should be done. But uh, I mean, he he just does what he has to do. I mean, his rhythm is a little off, so <laughs> no chance he's gonna make it on Dancing with the Stars anytime oh, soon. Nah, definitely not. Definitely not. I don't know. He could make a make a pop up. I don't know. You know, he can get it. He could get it together. You know, we keep doing all this winning. You know, the more, the more, the more, pra the more practice he's going to get, so he could get it together eventually. Playing Whopper a couple of weeks ago, does that help you at all? Yeah, it definitely helps. It definitely helps us, you know, uh, getting that game in early during the season. You know, just with Georgia Tech, you know, anybody running that offense is uh, it's always difficult, you know, because you have to, everybody has to be a play assignment football, you know, keep the eyes on their key, you know, be disciplined with the eyes. You know, because you can think somebody has the ball and the quarterback will be turning up the field, running for 40 yards. So it's always difficult playing against those guys because, you know, you just have to be disciplined on the front end and the back end. So that's really the only thing I feel like we have to go out there and attack this week. Much as the Notre Dame win was big confidence and rankings and all that, didn't help you in the ACC race. How's the approach now that that's pretty much the next eight weeks all you have to focus on? Uh, I mean, this is, we just going to come out there and do what we've been doing before, you know, just going to beat Clemson, go out there. We're going out there to win every game we play. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter if they helped us with it or not because, I mean, if we would have lost, we would have still been in contention for the ACC championship. We won, we're still in contention of the ACC championship. And just that win just, you know, helped us with what we're trying to do ultimately through the season and make it to the college football playoffs. How much were you guys able to focus on Georgia Tech during the two weeks? Uh, we really, we really didn't have too much time to focus on Georgia Tech. We really just focused on Notre Dame, you know, and doing and getting down the game plan for what we had to do for that game because we knew the magnitude of that game, and you know. So I mean, we really didn't have too much time to focus on Georgia Tech, but it's pretty much going to be sort of like what we did against Wofford. So we all, we ultimately have a, uh, I don't know the word I want to use, but you know, we have something in the back already for what they're going to do because we already played Wofford and we had that week of game prep for uh, Wofford. Is that, is that you think that can carry over, especially with some of the younger guys, the responsibilities and doing what they're supposed to do? Yeah, definitely, definitely will. You know, uh, coming in my freshman year, my first time seeing the option was against Georgia Tech. You know, some of those young guys we have on the field, some guys with inexperience, you know, they played against Wofford, so they already seen the option. So when they get out there against Georgia Tech, you know, hopefully, because some of the things they do is, you know, is ultimately the same thing with what Wofford did, you know, just they have more talent than Wofford, you know, and it's going to be difficult to do the same things we did at Wofford, but ultimately it's going to help those young guys because they've seen it before earlier than the season. It felt you. real good. I mean, when I said it, I ultimately knew we were going to get the last word because the way we prepared through the week, you know, we had an extra week to prepare, you know, and uh, I mean, it just paid off for us. So, I mean, when I was talking trash, I knew that my guys were going to back me up and I was going to back it up. Was the game as chippy as you expected it to be? Uh, from our from our sideline, it was. I don't know about that. I mean, it wasn't too chippy from them. I don't, I don't know what it was. I don't know if the scoreboard got to them or they were just scared. But it wasn't too much coming from those players. So, with that said, is Georgia Tech uh, have the right to, to talk this time around because they got you last year? And is that a little bit of a motivation for you guys? Do you feel like you maybe owe them something? Yeah. Uh, I mean. 
coming into this week, we're just preparing like, uh, you know, it's a new season. I mean, they beat us last year. And, uh, that's just what it was. Uh, we're coming in this week with a, with a game plan that's going to put us in a position to beat Georgia Tech this Saturday, and that's all it is. I mean, it's not really no extra motivation because they beat us last year. Uh, you know, it's the, it's the biggest game of the season for us. So that's all it is.